I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building, and today we are at our Prairie House Aero Project. This is a house that we finished about two years ago, 18 months, somewhere in there. And I kind of just wanted to give you a conversation about like the theory behind our mechanical room and how mechanicals work on a house like this. Let's back up a little and say this house is uh, passive house levels of performance. We're not certified. Uh, we're below passive uh, house air leakage. We have R40 walls. We have an R20 floor. We have R70 in the attic. We have triple glazed windows from Sierra Pacific. We have all the right things to make a house comfortable, efficient. Uh, we have good durable design that keeps the sun off the windows in the summer. All the, all the stars aligned on this one. And that's what makes a mechanical room like this possible. This house is effectively three boxes. We have three uh, mini splits running off of one cassette. So this is one of three. This runs the master, the second kitchen, uh, the mechanical room that we're in now, closet, and another bathroom. So it runs somewhere in the range of 1,000, 1,100 square feet that are all separate rooms that are all broken up by doors that could be closed. The interesting thing about this, we have another one on the other end and we have a high wall unit that runs the 700 square feet of the main space is the sizing is appropriate for this house. So load calculations were done by a mechanical engineer. The system was designed by a mechanical engineer. It was installed properly and it's installed in a house with low air leakage and high R value walls. And that brings us to what I think is one of the coolest things in this house, which is this is our, our dehumidifier for the entire house. We have a $250 70 pint plug-in, replace it any day of the week by going to Sam's Club to get a new one dehumidifier. There are plenty of ways that we can go to an expensive mechanical system, but Steve Basic makes an argument that if you count windows, envelope, and mechanical system as one line item on your budget, then everything gets to be uh, a push and pull for what's the right choices. And for this house, a little bitty dehumidifier works just fine. And I think that there's a really good uh, reasoning system behind being able to spend less money on something like that by spending the right amount of money on our air conditioning. Because in the humid months, this thing takes care of our load. Now, we revisit our projects after we finish our houses and we have conversations with our clients. We talk about things like comfort. We talk about things, uh, how they operate, what you have to do to feel like you're comfortable. What's it like in the evening? What's it like in the morning? And one of the things that the clients said to me in our first revisit was that dehumidifier never shuts off. We're leaving the door open. It never shuts off. It's running constantly. And I had this moment of panic uh, thinking like, okay, this system isn't sized right, something's going on, I'm missing something. We had conversations about how we live in the house, what, what kind of showers we're taking, things like that. And I finally just said, okay, let me think about that and we'll come back to it. And about 10 to 15 minutes maybe later in the conversation, uh, the homeowner said, oh, by the way, the dryer vent wasn't connected uh, and, and we got it connected. So you guys should think about using a different system maybe for connecting your dryer vents because we didn't realize that it wasn't connected. And I was like, oh my goodness, this little 70 pint uh, dehumidifier was literally taking care of the load for their entire house from, from their dryer that's one room away for months. And it was able to keep up because there was no other input to the rest of the house. So while we planned everything correctly, we made one minor mistake in getting a... a, a washing or a dryer connected and this little guy was still able to keep up and now it doesn't run all the time it just runs when it needs to run which is a lot less time so take that mechanical system envelope and windows as one unit have conversations with your clients realize that design can resolve a lot of things but also execution has to re resolve a lot of things we have to be responsible after the fact and we have to educate our clients so that they're able to find something like that and, and realize that, hey, we're paying attention and our dehum won't, won't shut off. So I think that all those things mesh together to make a good and comfortable house. So 
From the Prairie House Arrow today, thanks for watching the Build Show Network. Don't forget, six days a week, uh, Matt, Wade, Brent, and Steve are putting out great content. I'm learning from those guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Till next time, Prairie House Arrow. Check it out on Instagram.